I believe with all of my heart that God has special things in store for you, new things in store for you, things that is unprecedented, things that have never been accomplished before. You know, the Bible says, God says, behold, I will do a new thing. Amen. So there are a lot of new things God has in store for you. And I'm so excited. Well, what is this new thing? This new thing is God revealing His plan of salvation, which is by Jesus Christ. Because this text in Isaiah was written in the Old Testament, 700 years before Christ came. And they had to fulfill things and laws and requirements based on the law. And now God is sending His Son, because this is based in the Old Testament. And this new thing is God the Father sending Christ, His Son, to die for our sins so that we no longer face judgment when we come to accept Him as Lord and Savior. What is this thing in the second part of the verse which is not expounded on? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. This is a symbolic language talking about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit which has come and today we believers are sealed with the Holy Spirit and once we have been sealed there can be no fresh anointing. There can be no fresh revelation from the written word of God because it is complete, it is sufficient to tell us, to teach us all things concerning God, concerning salvation. But to unpack what God has for us this coming year, and God has, uh, uh, you know, in His mercy and grace, shown me some of the things that He's doing and will be doing and will continue to do this year, but what he's doing has already started this uh, past year, 2020, especially towards the end of the year. And the Lord has been doing something. And this message, the theme of the year, I received from the Lord, I received from the Lord much earlier, um, towards the end of uh, last year, probably around the month of uh, November. And God began to speak to me. I didn't. God began to speak to me. I didn't. Before God does anything, God gives a vision. Don't have to use chapter and verse. But, Amen. And the reason that God, God gives us this vision is because the Bible says without vision, the people perish. Friends, do you know why he is not mentioning the second part of the verse? Because if you do, you will not be in New Creation Church. You will not be in New Creation Church. He is twisting the word of God, friends. So what is the vision? What is the revelation? The revelation is in keeping God's laws. It is as simple as that. Now, you can know why he does not mention the second part of this verse. If you do, game over for him. Now, this vision is a vision from the Lord. And the word used there the, in the Hebrew word, I'm going to teach you this Hebrew word right now. It's called chazon. Say chazon. Say it, chazon. Chazon vision. Chazon vision is not vision that you get because you, 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 know, you ate too much uh, pizza last night. You had a dream and you woke up, you said, I have a vision from God. No, no. It, it is a prophetic vision. So it is true that chazon means prophecy, vision. But it also means vision as a uh, title of a book of prophecy. And what is that? The Bible. The Bible. How many prophecies has the Bible fulfilled? In the coming of the Messiah, that the Messiah will come and take our sins and bury on the cross. And the Messiah that comes from the seed of David, the stump of Jesse. The Bible is a book of prophecy. It is a vision from God himself. God puts a vision in your heart Amen. It can be a vision for your family in 2021. It can be a vision for your, your, your ministry, your career, your church. Amen. It can be a vision of health. Amen. And of radiant health in your, in your body for this coming year. But if it's a vision from God, it will sure come to pass. It is yes, Hazor means vision. But the dangerous thing here is this. If we presume to use God's name, that we have a vision, we have a dream, when God has not given. And this gift, if you are a secessionalist, you do not believe that these gifts continue today. If you use the name of God, you're presuming that God has given you and God has not. 
God's word in Deuteronomy 18 says this, a prophet, in today's context, a pastor, a preacher, who presumes to speak in my name, anything that I have not commanded, or anything I have not commanded, or a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, is to be put to death. Can you see the seriousness of this consequence? If what a prophet claims in the name of the Lord does not take place or come true, that, a that is a message that the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken presumptuously. And if we recall in 2019, and if we recall in 2019, what was the theme of a year? Or year of the latter rain. What happened? COVID-19. Year of the rain? Mm -mm. So, if you don't believe me, this is what Jeremiah 28 writes as well. You know, listen, Hananiah, the false prophet, the Lord has not sent you, yet you have persuaded this nation to trust in lies. Therefore, therefore, this is what the Lord says. I am about to remove you from the face of this earth. This very year, you are going to die because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. And in the seventh month of the same year, Hananiah the prophet died. Friends, this is a very serious consequence. We cannot and presume to speak in God's name. This is taking God's name in vain. Third commandment not to break. 